Hello, welcome to jQuery tutorial, chapter 46, jQuery Global Ajax Event Handlers, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about jQuery Global Ajax Event Handlers. So, below methods register handlers to be called when certain events such as initialization or completion takes place for any Ajax request on the web page. You have to understand this sentence very clearly. Okay, these event handlers are going to trigger okay, for any Ajax request on the web page. Suppose I have two buttons on the web page and clicking on each of the button, an Ajax request is sent. So on the successful completion of the Ajax request, I need to send a common message or I need to push a pop-up message telling like Ajax request is completed for both of the button. So then I need to write a common code on the success successful completion of the Ajax request. So how can I do that? I can do that with the help of this global Ajax event handlers method Ajax complete. Okay. So or Ajax success with the help of this method. So let me show you how to achieve that. It's very simple. Let me jump into Visual Studio and this is what we learned in the last session. So we are sending an Ajax re request with the help of this Ajax method. We are passing the URL and we are getting and we are getting the data. So I have specified the type as get and we am I'm I'm written on success. This should happen like it has to bring the data from this from this API. So here is my API and my API consists of three uh, strings. They are Sam, Henry and Mains. A James, sorry. So let me go back to my index page and now I've already pushed this page to my browser and here, here it how renders. Now let me refresh this page again and it takes some time to refresh. Now when I click on this load data, so what, what do I get is I get the data from the, from the API. So uh, the API is values API. Okay, it's a value API value controller and here I have data Sam Henry and James once it is refreshed now when I click on that okay you here you can observe very clearly we got the data Sam Henry and James so let me filter it let me take only the uh, data present in zeroth index or first index let me go back and let me refresh we will get only Sam as of now because we are passing an ID there to the controller to the URL telling like API slash values slash zero it's going to return the value present in the zeroth index so now when I click on this load data you can observe we got Sam so this is what we are going to fetch the data of the zeroth index so now our objective is to learn about global Ajax event handler. So what do you mean by that? So on successful completion of this Ajax request, we're getting the data. So what I'll do is so let me go back to my presentation and here I have something called send and start. So what is this Ajax send method does attaches a function to be executed before an Ajax request is sent. Okay, and Ajax start register handler to be called when the first Ajax request begins. So let me write these two functions that is send and start. So let me go back to my code. So I'm going to tell like dollar. I'm going to write to the document itself. Document dot Ajax start. So I'm going to call an anonymous function. I'm going to push up a message telling like so now let me go back to my web page and let me refresh and once it refresh let me click on this load data and let us see what we are going to get so let us ex understand this ajax send so it's going to attach a function to be executed before an ajax request is sent so now when i click on this load data an uh, ajax request is started and now the data loaded okay and let me go and copy this and now let me go with Ajax send it's not a let me change to send started let me go back and let me refresh now we're going to just check like which is going to trigger first whether the start Ajax start or Ajax send okay now once it's refresh let me click on this load data and we are going to check there whether which method is going to trigger first whether it is uh, Ajax start or Ajax send. 
go back here and now when I click on that you can observe Ajax request has started and now when Ajax research is going for the first time it just pushes this message telling like Ajax and has started now it loads the data here in the dev element similarly you have other like on Ajax complete so if your Ajax request is successful or it is it has undergone some error okay this Ajax complete method is going to execute for sure so let me go back here and let me copy this just to save the time telling like Ajax completed so Ajax completed go back and let me refresh now this Ajax complete method is going to execute irrespective of your Ajax request is failed or successful so now when I click on this it has to first start then it has to initialize for the first request send Ajax send then it has to tell like whether it is completed the Ajax request or not with the help of Ajax complete method now when I click on this Ajax request has started and it has sent the request and Ajax completed and here is our data so this is what the advantage of using these methods and apart from that let me go with this Ajax error Ajax error Ajax error now let me go back and let me refresh the web page so right now we don't have any error because we have passed the URL in correct manner apart from that let me wantedly make the changes in my URL by giving the wrong URL so now let me click on this load data so once I click the we'll get this data Sam because our URL is in the correct manner so now when I now what I'll do is I'll click on this started sent completed and we got the data but what I'll do, what I'll do is I'm just changing the values to value. I do control S. Let me go back and let me refresh again this page. So now when I click on load data, what should happen is we have to it has to execute these functions. Okay, one is Ajax start, Ajax send, and Ajax complete or Ajax error. So what we are going to do is let me click on this. Your when I click on this, the request has started and it has sent, but the it, it has undergone uh, Ajax complete so what I've done is I've uh, not changed the value yeah Ajax Ajax request must be an error Okay, now it has been taking the time once it refreshed let me click on this oh come on yes now when I click on that request has started and sent and your Ajax request met with an error and Ajax has completed so these are the things which are going to execute globally okay now let me show you the advantage of using this global event handlers now I have only one button what I'll do is I'll just copy this code and I'll just change the ID here and I'll make it log one so let me copy this styles I'll tell you why I'm doing this so let me come down so here I'm going to add button one and here is the log one now when I do control S let me go back and let me refresh here we have I have taken another button and also I have taken a div now these Ajax functions global Ajax event handlers what we have taken in our code okay it's going to execute for all the Ajax request which is present on the web page so what we are doing is we are triggering an Ajax request on the button click so here I have two buttons okay and these Ajax global event handlers are going to execute for two buttons also okay irrespective of the Ajax request okay irrespective of the button also so let me go back and here is my data now you can observe here so what I'll do is I wantedly make a correction here like its value 0 for the test one and for this one I'm, I'm, not, I'm not changed okay so on the first button we have to get an error so let me refresh again because I did not change the value at that time 
So now when I click on this load data first button, I'm going to get an error. I mean, again, when I click on this load data, I'm not going to get an error. Why? Because our URL is in the correct format. But whatever the Ajax, global Ajax event handlers, what we are written here, okay, it's going to execute. It's going to execute for all the Ajax requests happening on this web page that is in index.cshtml. So let me go back. So it's not here. So now when I click on this, okay, Ajax request started and it is sent and you met with an error and our Ajax request is completed. Similarly, when I click on this, the request has started, sent a request and Ajax completed and here is our data. So what do you mean by this? This Ajax global Ajax event handler functions are going to execute for any Ajax request on the web page and that's what the meaning of this sentence. Okay, it's gonna execute these functions that it takes place for the any Ajax request, okay, taking on the web page. This is what the advantage of using this global Ajax event handlers. I hope you understood and you can try with this top one. Okay, and that's for the day. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Langpro Training. You can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL. You can also follow us on Twitter. For further reference, refer our website. We are on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.